I'm going to show you how to create a successful print on demand store from scratch. Most people think that it's really difficult or complicated to set up a store like this, but I'm here to show you that it's actually really simple. All you need is the right tools and knowledge, which I'm going to provide to you in this video. So stay tuned and let's get started. All right, finding your niche. This can be a daunting task, but it's important that you find something that you're passionate about. That way, if the going gets tough, you'll still enjoy doing it. I recommend finding a niche that you have some knowledge about already. That way you can hit the ground running and start making money sooner. However, don't be afraid to try something new. You never know where your passions will take you. Whichever route you choose, finding your niche is an essential part of being a successful entrepreneur. Researching your competition is a key step in any business venture. By understanding what other businesses are doing, you can develop a strategy to differentiate your own business and better meet the needs of your target market. There are a number of ways to research the competition, including conducting a Google search and looking at online selling platforms like Etsy and Amazon. By taking the time to understand your competition, you will be in a better position to succeed in the market. All right, so now that we went over finding your niche and researching your competition, okay, I wanna show you a quick example. So I came over here to Etsy.com. Now you have customers coming over here and buying products every single day, okay? Just like Amazon, just like any other online platform where you can sell products on, okay? So keep that in mind. So if you have customers coming on here and buying things, you can use this to research, you know, either finding your niche to seeing if there's a demand in there or researching your competition and seeing like what they're selling and what you can bring to the market that's different than them. So you can make sales too as well. So for example, come over here, let's, t let's do, we're going to do English Bulldog. You know, if you don't know, I do have two English Bulldogs and I love them. So English Bulldog. So when I type that in, you can see that this pop, this, you know, drop down bar, bar right here pops out. English Bulldog Mom. Okay. Um, gifts. Okay. This is probably going to be like a real popular search in this niche too as well. You got doormats. So these are, this is an actual product that people are searching for. Okay. In this niche. Car de or decals. Okay. Harnessed. Um, clothes. Art. So, for example, a statue. Statue. Let's, let's, let's just click on... Let's just do gifts. Okay. Now it's very general and we can see what's popping up. Okay. You got the, you got the doormat popping up right here. Okay. You got a t-shirt popping up right here. A tray, a wooden tray, another t-shirt. We got a custom little keychain. We got a little planner statue. We got another doormat because my bulldog farted. <laughs> That's funny. You got a shoe charm for a croc. Okay. And you got some little stickers over here. Coffee mug another shirt okay a dog sil a metal dog silhouette right there another shirt a portrait okay and you're getting the idea it goes on and on and on and on and you can see right here showing like with etsy it shows like some of the best sellers okay in this nation it's showing another coffee mug um which is another doormat okay which is very very powerful because if this is all telling you a story okay this is telling you what products are very popular in this niche right Okay. And then let's say like, let's say this is, you know, you're going to see how they're doing this right here. The seller right here. This is more of, um, we go back over here. If we go back over here. This is more of like, you know, researching the niche and seeing like what popular products are in this niche and what people are buying. That's what we're trying to get gain from this type of inf information right here. Okay. And then when we click on it now we're kind of spying like on, you know, the, 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 the seller, the competition, right? This would be more of your competition and seeing like what's what's going on like is this a top seller in here and this is people are people buying a lot of this type of product which no they're not but we come over here to let's say where's that top seller one that we found right here this one right here was a best seller okay if our print on demand you know provider offers this you know this is a top seller in the niche you can see when you see stuff like this when you have 13 people added it to cart um that's a very very powerful thing right there because that means you know people are really passionate they added this product 13 times to the cart and then in the reviews you can see that there's reviews people are leaving photo reviews and they're doing look at and they have a picture of the bulldog with the product 
which is powerful, right? Because what does that mean? That means that the customer purchased the product, got the product, they're happy with the product and showed it to the actual, like left the review and showed it to the actual seller. And now other customers are coming onto this landing page, looking at the product and like, wow, this is freaking awesome, right? So that's really awesome. But you know, the goal is to, you know, find products like doormats and stuff like that, that your print provider can, you know, fulfill for you. Okay. So it's a rinse and repeat process to every single niche that I would go into. I would go into every single niche and be like, okay, is this a demand? Like, is there a demand for this product in this niche? And can I make something and make something happen in this niche? And obviously, you know, get customers to your product so they can make purchases. All right. So here is a customizable product right here. I clicked on it. It's obviously a coffee mug and you can see, you know, the detailed pictures over here and go through all of them over here on the left hand side and look how this is. You got an English bulldog and a person with their arm around the English bulldog. And then you have their name right here, right? Which is freaking amazing because have doing this right here, it's creating like less competition for yourself. Okay understanding like okay if i can you know have a customizable product you know on my website and a customer can come over here and put in what they want and then you can give them what they want it's so much easier uh, it's so much easier for you to obviously you know make a customer make a purchase on your website because they're like wow this is amazing this is really really cool right so you can see it has three three people have added this to cart Okay, and then as we come down here and uh, look at the reviews, you can see that there's a ton of people that have left reviews. Now, you can see we come over here, there's other coffee mugs too as well. And we look at all these other coffee mugs, you're like, okay, there's another English Bulldog, but a different color. Another English Bulldog, different color. And look at and, and you know, the different color hairs and stuff like that. And then look at there's another dog. So like, okay, cool. Like I see what this person's doing. So let's check out the rest of your shop and see what's going on. Let's, let's, you know, you're spying on, um, your comp, this might be your competition. Maybe you want to start a coffee mug store, right? Um, you get where I'm going at with this. Okay. Depends what you want to do. As we come over here, look, you can see what other coffee mugs they have. Um, they have a lot of sales over 22,000 sales all the time, right? 644 products on their store. And look at this, over 20 people added this product to, to the store, over 20 people added this product to the store. So that means that these are selling seven, seven, six, 19, three, 16, seven. And I'm looking at the people added it to cart, by the way. But this is just a perfect example of spying on your competition and seeing what's going on. Okay, this is just one way that you can do it. There's a few, uh, several different ways. You can use Amazon, you can use Google. You can just search on, you know, Facebook groups or look at Facebook different fan pages, stuff like that and see what is going on, what they're selling, how they're doing it, how they're marketing it to the customer. Go on Instagram, okay? There's so many different ways that you can do this, all right? So think about this when you're doing this. You wanna figure out, you know, what's going on in these niches, um, what your competition is doing, and obviously, what can you provide and bring to the table that could be different than them? All right, so we're gonna be building our website on Shopify. Shopify is probably one of the coolest platforms like when it comes to building a website and all that stuff. It's pretty much straightforward and really easy as long as you're not messing with none of the coding and stuff like that because that can be a little frustrating right because you know i've messed with it a few times i'm like dude i don't know who writes you know who writes this html stuff this stuff's crazy so but we ain't gonna be messing with none of that okay the goal is you know create a shopify store and then we're gonna use a print provider which is gonna be printify okay if you come over here and so we click on the pricing real fast to see what's going on. You have a 14 day free trial with Shopify and depending, you know, which one you're using, whatever one you go with, you can go with the basic Shopify or advanced. Like I said, whatever one fits your needs, you can go with the basic until you start to figure out like how you want to do things and how you're going to do everything. Um, or you can go with the Shopify, right? Um, so yeah. Okay, Shopify, we're gonna be using Shopify to uh, build our website and we're gonna build everything with Shopify and then we're gonna link Printify. All right, so 
Printify. Okay. Basically, think about print on demand. So if a customer comes to your store, they like your product. It can be a t-shirt. It can be a, a poster or it can be a sticker. It can be whatever it is that you have your product on. Okay. I mean, whatever it is that you have your design on. Okay. Whatever product it is. Basically, Printify is going to print and ship to the customer for you. Okay. Um, they pretty much take care of all that crazy, all the, you know, the printing and stuff like that. Instead of putting up, you know, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 for a print machine, you know, you're just, you're testing products and seeing like what you're going to do inside of that niche. So check it out. If you come in here, you, you know, it'll give you a, a brief breakdown of everything, what's going on, how it works. If you click on how it works, it's going to tell you everything, you know, pick, customize, sample, uh, publish, relax. Okay. You know, that's kind of like their model, which is really freaking awesome. And then you come over here to pricing, you know, they have a, a few different pricing as far as, you know, you can do monthly or you can do yearly. Okay. Um, you can even, so if you can even do the free, okay. And you, you can connect up to five stores per account, right. And you get mock-up generator and it tells you all this cool stuff and it integrates with Shopify, you know, Etsy, eBay, and more. Okay, there's a ton of different, you know, different uh, platforms that it integrates with, which is really cool. Manual order creation, okay, and then all the support and stuff like that. Of course, when you go into more, that gives you more and more stuff, uh, more more options that you, more features that you get as you, you know, if you go into the higher plans, right? Which is really awesome. One of the things I want to share with you guys is the actual products that you can print on. All right, so I am logged in to my Printify account. If I come over here to catalog. This is really cool because it just gives you a ton of like ton of products that you can print on, right? Which is amazing. You got from t-shirts all the way to, you know, home decor, towels, blankets, postcards, posters. So if you go into a niche, okay, and you figure out what your customers want, they have a bit like a wide variety of different products, which is crazy. Okay. And it even helps you and tells you like the best sellers and stuff like that. Okay. From, you know, the t-shirts to phone cases, sweatshirts, unisex cotton tees, canvas, satin canvas, aprons, powerful. One cool thing too, if you go with the premium, it gives you a little bit more of a discount with certain products. So you can kind of increase your profit on each product sold. Okay. So really, really, really freaking powerful. Okay. And in the next video, so this next video that's going to be popping up right here, I'm going to show you how we're going to link the Shopify store to the Printify store. And then we're going to start to get products on the store and get them up there and put a few designs up. Okay. This is freaking really awesome. If you're getting a lot of value out of this, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below.